just me and my mom my whole life up until I met my husband. Um, uh, she was single, single parent. She came from Veracruz, Mexico to the United States um, in the early 70s. She worked as a, a maid, a um, housekeeper, cleaning uh, homes. She left what she knew. She left her family behind and came to the U.S. because she thought there was opportunity to make a better life for herself. My name is Rachel Sampson. I'm 15 years old. I am a first year at Poway High School. Living with Asperger's has always been different. Um, I have trouble making eye contact sometimes. I've had to work on that skill. I do not like bright lights or loud noises, and when I was little, I used to be afraid of the rain. People with Asperger's syndrome do not do well around other people all the time, but I have worked at those skills. And I can remember my mom would take me, depending on where she worked that day, she would take the bus up into a certain, to a certain um, bus stop, and then I'd go the rest of the way. Border Patrol would regularly get on the bus and raid the bus and ask people for documents, and so I can remember being really scared that they were going to ask me for my documents. I also remember a bus driver. He knew uh, when the Border Patrol was going to get on the bus. And so if he knew that someone didn't have papers, because he saw these people every day. They were going to work. They were honest people. You know, um, He would say, you want to get off here and you know, continue his route. This year, recently, I found that I had been nominated for Freshman Homecoming Princess. And most girls would have been very surprised and pleased about that. But I was skeptical because I believed it might have been that kids had nominated me to put me on the spotlight and show how different I was. I've grown up with this for a long time. I've been, I'm used to people being mean to me in different ways all the time. In elementary school, it was kids teasing me. In middle school, it was just kids sort of exploiting how different I was. And for a while, I considered taking my name off the ballot. But in the end, I didn't. But I wasn't going to take my name off the ballot because that would be letting the kids who nominated me win. Some of my friends found out about how it had, might have been a prank and they told their friends and those friends told their friends and after a while it was all over at school, school and a lot of kids voted for me. It was just really incredible. I was surprised when I won and I was very happy too. And riding in the convertible during the parade was the best experience of my life and I will always treasure that. I didn't just turn around, it, all of the kids who voted for me turned it around, the kids who told their friends, all of them, they were the ones who turned it around. My mom always taught us that we could make where we lived a better place, a safer place. I figured from her and learned from her that being involved um, in finding out what was going on in the community, what government decisions were happening, um, what things were being done that might affect our quality of life, um, that we sort of needed to be, that we needed to be involved. And to also come up with solutions, because, you know, the ideas don't always come from above, they um, also come from the community. We have to believe that change is going to happen. Even though it looks like this country is divided, um, that we have to find those things that we do have in common, um, because there are things that are in common, and there are things that we can do to leave our planet, to leave our country, to leave our community, to leave our neighborhoods in a better place for those that come after us.